Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add all the fun little swirls and swishes. And so we're gonna be making a Happy New Year sign. I'm gonna do it on acrylic, a small one, because I wanna experiment with something. So I had an idea, so let's get started. Oh wait, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is I'm gonna to go to text and I'm just gonna type out Happy New Year. And then I'm gonna change the font. So I want this to be one of those fun, whimsical, beautiful fonts. I'm gonna to go to one of my favorites, and you guys may have already guessed it, but it's a good one to, um, to show you guys. It's Canterbury Coo, and I love this font. You're gonna see in a second why. It's from Cre. oh wait, I don't wanna do that, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna resize it right now, okay? So I'm gonna undo this for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here like this, okay? Um, the reason why I like Hanaberry Koo is that it looks really whimsical and delicate, but it's not. So you see like even the end of the W and the Y, um, it's not that thin, right? So this is under an inch and you can kind of already see it's not super, super thin. So it's kind of easy to work with. All right, let's go to main type and let me bring it up. Main type is free. And I like main type because it's the easiest way for me to access the, the extra keys that are available. Because for the longest time, I would see it, um, you know, like when you're buying a font and you see all of these options, but I felt like I couldn't access them. This is the easiest way for me to access it. So if you just Google main type, it's free. So I'm gonna use the free edition. Once you download it, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna close this out. And so basically all your fonts exist here. And so I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna to get to Hanaberry Koo. And so you can see over here, these are all the different um, characters that are available, right? So like you can see the two Bs next to each other. Like in design space, only one of them is gonna appear. So now you can scroll down and you can kind of see everything that's available. So I want one of my fancy H's right here. I'm gonna take this one. So when you click on it, you can see it bigger. It's currently highlighted. I'm gonna hit Control C. So that's for copy, right? When I go into design space, this is the important thing. You're gonna open up a new text box. You wanna make sure that this text box has the same font that you're gonna drop in. So it's Hanaberry Koo, we're good. I'm clicking here to add text, but instead of typing it in, I'm gonna hit Control V, and my pretty H is gonna fall in. If you remember when we first typed this out, I resized it to make it bigger, and then I thought, oh wait, I don't wanna do that. If you bring it in at the regular size and you don't mess with the sizing, then your substitute, what you drop in, will also be the right size. So that's why I didn't wanna mess with the size yet. We'll mess with the size afterwards, or you can do this so that you can make it, um, so you can see it better. So I'm gonna move this over, and oh yay, what just happened here? Oh, there. All right, so now my H is of the right size. I'm going to ungroup this, and I'm just gonna remove this H and I'm gonna drop in this beautiful one. <laughs> All right, so I like that. I'm gonna go look at my Y. So let's see my choices for Y. Now here's the Y, right? But I want it, the swoosh to be at the end, at the tail of the Y, so let's see. So there's some options. I can do this one. I could do this long swoopy one, which I think I'm gonna do this one. Oh, that's a G. Oh man, maybe I need glasses. <laughs> Here's my Y. All right, I'm gonna click Control C to get this Y. Go back into Design Space and Text Box. Drop in my Y, make sure that the font is the same. You're gonna get a funky little box with a question mark or something similar to that if you have a different font. So it has to be the same font that's coming in. So I'm gonna do this right here. That's gonna be so pretty. Okay, I'm removing this, dropping this in, and so it's gonna go through my P. I'm okay with that. Um, let me get rid of this. I want new, oops, hold on. 
I don't know if I can get that. Oy. Okay, let me move year. All right, so I like happy the way it is. I'm gonna grab this and I'm actually gonna weld it because I want, I'm gonna cut this out in vinyl. So I want everything to cut as one piece. I don't want my H to cut into my A. My A is being cut into the H and the P. If you weld it, then you're gonna have one, one um, flowing piece of vinyl. And you can kind of see over here too, happy is now one welded piece. So the whole word is one image as opposed to each individual letters, okay? So now I'm gonna move this over here. And then I, um, so the N I can do a funky, so I want, let's see, let's see what I wanna do. I wanna do something like this and then let's see. Maybe make the Y over here really big as well. So maybe new stays just like that. So it's, um, hold on, let me move this up. I'm gonna weld my new. I'm gonna make new kind of neutral so it doesn't get too, too busy. So I'm gonna put that here and maybe, yeah, I'm gonna put it right here because it kind of fits in. And then I'm gonna make this year like fancy <laughs> so let's go get our y all right so i don't want the same y but let's do like is let's do this one control c go into design space text box confirm that your font is the same and i'm actually going to change the font just so that you guys can see what it would look like, okay? So here, I'm gonna drop it in, right? So I'm gonna do Control V, like I normally would, and then you get this. So that happens when you have the wrong font. So it has to be the right one that you're dropping in. So let me see if I can actually change it and if it would update. Oh, it does, okay. So all you do is you need to make sure that you're in the right font. All right, so here, I'm gonna remove this one and just delete it. And move this in and actually I'm gonna make this maybe a little bit bigger so that everything kind of sits on top of that so the E the A and then the R I don't know let's go look at the R what are my options for R's um, those are I passed it let me see Oh, here's an R, that's a fancy R, I like that. I'm gonna hit Control C, go to Design Space, um, Text Box, Hanaberry Coup, Control V. And here I have it. So I'm gonna move this one, and I'm gonna add this one. All right, now, um, so I need to weld this one and it looks kind of balanced right a little bit over to the side a little bit coming down I like it um, Let's see how big this is though. My sign is a five by seven acrylic sign So I'm gonna make this okay. Well, let's see what five by seven looks like um, Let's go into shapes and I want a square and I'm going to unlock it so that I can change the square into a rectangle and make this five by seven. Nope, I want it the other way. I want seven by five. Okay, um, so I'm gonna move, hold on. Um, I'm gonna group this together for now so that it moves together as one. I am going to arrange, send to the back. Oh, it's already in the back, okay. This goes in the front, and I'm gonna change this color so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so that's gonna be my acrylic sign. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I wanna do, you know, my little gold acrylic sign with the gold flakes on the sides. So I like the way this looks. And I am actually going to just send this whole thing, I'm gonna weld it all together so it's gonna cut out as one piece and we're gonna put this together. And the trick is I'm actually gonna use Barely Art Glue because I think that most of you guys already have Barely Art Glue. So we're gonna try the Barely Art Glue with the gold flakes. Um, that's all I have for
for you. So happy new year. Uh, happy, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy new year. Um, please continue sending me your requests. You can always send it by um, sending me an email at ann at the uselesscrafter.com or you could just go on my website, fill out the form, tell me what you want to see, what questions you have. And um, we have an exciting new year coming up. So I can't wait. All right. Bye, guys.